Hello, this is Paul from Vice Squad here. I have been asked by a few people what that theme tune is from uh, the Becky and Lumpy show. And um, it's something that I did myself on the recording software that I use, which is called Logic. I thought I would pass a bit of time away and hopefully entertain some of you and answer a few questions if you have any about how I did it and what I used. I'll keep it very simple and straightforward. People who understand recording software will absolutely get everything about this, but people who aren't really knowledgeable but might have interest in it, hopefully you'll be a bit wiser by the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I'm using the software that I normally use to record Voice Squad. Let me explain that as you can see there are different coloured lanes here. These are called tracks. And like in the old days we used to use tape. Nowadays with software each one is lined up on top of each other that you see on the left side and then the various coloured lanes will be each track. With Vice Squad we will use real instruments, guitars and bass and drums and so forth. In this case, with this song, there are actually no real instruments, they are called virtual instruments, which I shall open one up and show you. So we'll just stop that. I'm using a software called Contact. And there inside you will see uh, an instrument called Swing, and it's made up of many different elements. And I'm gonna play my keyboard now. And you'll hear that it's playing a loop of a hi-hat on a drum. I'll play another key. Now that's a ride cymbal. And a bit further up the keyboard. Drum fills. There's a build. So obviously you have to be musical and know what you're doing or else uh, you just end up with a racket, a bigger racket than I normally have. Uh, underneath I'm using a separate drummer, so I've got a second drummer going at the same time. This one's guy's called Easy Drummer. So if I play the drum there, I can play it on my keyboard. Or you can play by pressing your mouse on each of the drum elements. So actually in this song, I'm using two drummers. I've got the swing drummer and he's playing, this guy is playing a very light jazz rhythm. Turn that up a little bit. Okay. So he's in track one, which is at the top there in blue. Now underneath Mr. Easy Drummer, so this is another virtual instrument that you can play yourself. You can also use loops that are pre-recorded. I try not to use them. I try to play them by hand. Um, but I do use the occasional loop if I want to get a, a better feel. So now we've got both drums. And when you mix both, you get a big sound. There you go. Totally unrealistic. A jazz purist would want me to be killed for using such technology, especially and two drummers. Uh, but there you go. I'm sure it wasn't uh, unheard of. Now then, we've got a bass. Now I'm using again the contact instrument, which is inside my digital recording software. So it's a plug-in within. Um, the main recording software. Again, I'm using this contact, and this is a bass. A jazz bass. Doesn't sound too bad. Okay. Now, with that, I'm not a very good piano player. 
because all this is triggered as you'll see there by a keyboard so I used my MIDI guitar which I shall show you a picture of so I played that on a guitar uh, and but triggered the sound of a bass okay so now I'll put that in with the two drums that I previously shown you we go it's based on a 12 bar I'm a guitar teacher so I should know a 12 bar really I'm not quite as comfortable with jazz chords but as you'll see coming up there are various things to help you with that now funny enough although I play guitar I'm not using a guitar on this as I mentioned earlier it's not real instruments it's software instruments again using contact and now we've got the same software as before and when you press certain keys, you get various guitar tones. So obviously you have to know what you're doing. You can't, well, you could just play anything. But you have various strumming types, long, short, and then various keys that you can press to change the chord. Here we go. So I figured out the chords I wanted, which is a basic 12 bar blues, and then we added the guitar. So now let's hear the two drummers and the bass and the guitar. And he's doing stabs. So here's the notes that I played inside the MIDI keyboard. And you can move them around. Now for the piano. Now again, as I've said before, I'm not a good pianist, so what I did was I figured the chords out and then I've got some more software that will play to certain rhythms for me. So I'm not that good. Yeah, there you go. So this is technology at its best, I think, where we're trying to recreate something that sounds a bit vintage. And also it uh, seems to suit the Becky and Lumpy show. Now we're coming into the more in-depth stuff, the trumpets and such. Now here... What we've got are various sounds and chords. And you'll see on the top there where my mouse is. Pointer is that you can change the key, the chords you want in the red. And then on the other parts of the keyboard higher up, you've got different colors. And that will play a different type of chord. Long note, and then a stab. So obviously I figured that out. Uh, the key of this song is in the E. And then more trumpets below in yellow. playing again the contact instrument with the various that's the bass um, that's trombones and if you hit it hard you get that bend all right now then if we go and play just the trumpets and the trombones piano guitar then 
my lad put the drums in. Get the old little Richards there. the end then I drop the drums out down to the okay that's it thanks for watching this thanks for watching the Becky and Lumpy show we really appreciate all your support and I welcome any more questions if anyone wants to know anything about the recording process or what what we're up to during lockdown I'll try and answer any questions you may have, either private message or leave a leave a comment below. And um, I want you all to stay safe so that we can all meet up after all this is through. Take care. Bye bye.